Today I'm going to show you how to cover a board using like a material sort of effect, a drape effect. I've got my gum paste, my white gum paste, I've got my board, I've got my rolling pin, my edible glue and I'm going to use this rolling pin that will give it like a textured effect. So I'll move that out of my way. already kneaded this quite well but it's still a little bit cracky but it doesn't matter for a board really because once you roll it out you won't see the cracks so put it into a nice little ball dust your surface on the top of it get your rolling pin and this will be tough to roll Keep bringing your board back and just measuring it. Still got a little bit of a way to go yet. Now the cake that I'm doing today is a cushion cake, so I will be uh, putting a video on of that. that yeah that's about right so then get your other rolling pin if you're going to do a textured effect like this and give it a very firm roll try and mark it up where it is Textured now. Get your edible glue and just put it all over your board. Right up to the edges. Make sure it's all covered. Up. 
you've got bits of something, just roll that on. And then just put your little ruffles in. Just place your finger underneath. Just push it together. Just so as it creates that sort of ruffled look. My cake's going to be covering most of this, so... Add little bends in it as normal material would go. And just when you're happy with it. Okay, is that? So then just go around with your knife and cut off the excess. Run around it with your hand, making sure it's all over to the edge and there's no board showing. And there you have your ruffled board ready for your cake.